gets stabbed with a fork. Another man gets smashed in the nose. Someone's BMW gets smashed in. The host of this lovely party takes a short-legged dog for a walk and then goes to sleep. The hostess takes her father to a hospital in California with a broken hip. And nobody hears two gunshots because everyone is dancing, including a woman named Cookie who's been cooking all night who can't stand or walk. <laughs> you people have to deal with me. Do you understand that? I'm a real cop. I am not some funny duddy named Elmer that your children watch on the Disney Channel. Now, I want some real answers. I want some believable answers. I want some intelligent answers and answers that don't make me laugh. But first, I want to see Mr. Charlie Rock and find out what the hell is going on here tonight, including the possibility of him having two bullet holes in him. I'm going to give you all five seconds to get him down here, or I'm going to take two seconds and go up there and find him myself. <laughs> Don't you mess with me now. I am so close to promotion that I can smell it, and I'm not going to mess it up with this case. Now, do I start counting, or do I start climbing? You try my patience. Make your choice. Fine. Wait, 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 wait. Please, just, just wait. Just wait. Ernie? Kid, I mean, Lynn? <laughs> Don't you think it's about time we have Charlie come down? Definitely. Absolutely. Charlie, it's Ernie. We're ready for you now. Are you ready for us now? Relax, Charlie. That's just a hysteric nerve reaction. What's going on? He thinks he's going temporarily. <laughs> just put some cold water on your eyes and come down. There are two policemen here who want to speak with you. Why? Because you put out one finger, that's why. Yes, I will. Not now, ma'am. Go on, Mr. Brock. 